there's one thing that is super important is we have had many rough life experiences within our small group and we can be there for each other we can support each other uh, be there in prayer uh, do meal trains um, just again just do life when somebody's struggling you can be there to lift them up in prayer when uh, things are celebrated like the birth of a child we can be there to celebrate that with them it's uh just you're just doing life in general together it's you know you grow you sit down you have meals together and you know you get to experience just the fellowship of being around like-minded people and and again we get to different get to try different types of foods when you normally wouldn't try when we have our silly weird uh, food jar food themes ricey eggs <laughs> yeah it's just one of those like I can tell when we don't meet for small group during a week because I feel like something's missing within me like I almost feel like I start to give in to the world and all of that where if we've got small group I, I get that re-energized re that you know it's like hey you know I can keep my focus on God that is what you know one of the things that small group helps with us another reason why we love our small group is we get to do community projects for obviously people around the community if there is a need or something like that I mean that's what you know God called us to do is to bear one another's burdens and if we can help out in any way that we can you know whether that just be time or service work or we've even donated money to people stuff like that taking up collections because that's, you know, that's what part of being a Christian is. And then not only just the community, but even within our own small group that we've had projects that, you know, people have needed done, whether it be cleaning or house painting or something like even babysitting, just things like that, that, you know, you get to do as friends and you become more than friends. It's almost like you become a close knit family, just with the relationships and the friendships that you form. And it just means a whole lot. I've been asked why is my small group so important to me and to Kirsty. Um, there are many reasons. There are many ways to answer that. First of all, we don't get enough time at church to sit down and talk. Don't you agree? I agree, especially being in children's ministry. I don't end up <clears throat> seeing a lot of my friends, and I don't end up getting to just really hear about what's going on in their lives. So a small group gives us an opportunity to do that and to hold each other accountable throughout the weeks. Um, it's been really good, and especially when we've been struggling with things, uh, some of our friends in our small group, we found out we're struggling with the same kinds of things, so we're able to... Um, Draw near to each other. Yeah. You know, we're obviously going to get into God's Word, and we're going to pray together, and we're going to laugh together, we're going to cry together, but <clears throat> our small group's been through a lot of things together. I mean, we've battled cancer, we've battled um, problems with our kids, we've, we've battled um, problems in our marriages, and... These are things that the world has over, and so does the Christian realm, and so do Christian parents, and we all struggle through these things. So to talk about biblically how we can address those things and how we can be a Christian in the world and be a good example of who Jesus Christ is, those are the things that we, we need to talk to, talk to each other about. And we love to surround ourselves with people that we know are going to be saying the same things that we're saying to our kids because now our kids are around these same adults and they are like family. And so they, um, we know that when uh, Isaiah or Miles is going to mess up and do something stupid, we know that they are going to come right behind us and say the same things, whether they may listen to us or not. Uh, most of the time they would listen to a trusted adult that um, has the same values and beliefs that we do. Or as I like to say, uh, it takes a village, and my small group are the village people. Yeah, they're the people that hold it together. <laughs>